So today we're going to be using a couple of different tools. We're going to be using some scissors, a seam ripper, a razor, a black chalk pencil, and a white piece of chalk. And these are the two jeans that we are going to be distressing today. As you can see, I have already went through and made all my marks as to where I want to cut. So this first cut that I'm making right now is just above, just below my knee. And now I'm folding it into the style that I would like, just so I could see everything more clearly. And I am using the seam ripper to help me begin my uh, slits, you know, my holes. You can use a seam ripper to cut all the way around. It's a little difficult, but it does make the jeans a little bit more distressed as to where the scissors makes the jeans a little bit more cut clean. But yeah, I definitely use the seam ripper to start my slit. Some of the places I cut will just be like straight lines and some of the other places I cut will be in circles. Um, the straight lines is because I'll go through and remove uh, a lot of the threads so I can have like those white lines coming through. And the circles will just like when we throw them in the washer and dryer they'll distress by themselves. So yeah, I'm going to let you just watch how like I do this side of the jeans and on the next pair of jeans, I'll go into more detail about um, everything that I'm doing, like exactly how I'm doing it.
And this is where I'm gonna go into like an ample amount of details as you can see that we have a lot of squares yes yeah, so go ahead and put your hand inside the pants so you do not like go through both sides of the jeans and as you can see I'm using the seam ripper to create slits um, just to make it easier for me to cut when I grab my scissors and um, this like when you distress your jeans it's pretty much your style and what you want so even though you see that i have you know written boxes out already i'm still gonna go in and add extra you know extra slits like you know just trying to make it exactly like how i want it so yeah and right here um even though i made like like the slits um, as you can see like I'm cutting out like smaller boxes around the bigger box and that's gonna help for when I throw my jeans in the washer um, instead of me like I don't know how to explain it you know how some jeans have the like strings going through like the big box yeah that's that's what um, I try to do um, with these pairs of jeans by just leaving that little um, extra fabric in the middle of the big box, if that makes any kind of sense. <laughs> For example, this was one large square, but I'm making smaller strips of fabric inside the bigger square to kind of help when I throw it in the washer. Now, as you can see, this part right here, I'm just making some slits in the jeans. I'm not actually cutting the whole square out. And later on, you'll see why I do this. Um, the sole purpose is mainly to create a design that um, shows that the jeans are still distressed without it showing too much skin. So you'll actually see like some white strings that go across. And yeah. Um, basically the way the jeans are made up um, they have lines that go vertically and lines that go horizontally and the lines that go horizontally is what we want to keep the lines that go vertically which are the blue strings is what we're going to be taking out so you'll see me repeating pretty much the same steps on this side of the jeans and right now i'm kind of showing you that if you didn't have a seam ripper, you could use your scissors to make slits as well. But I think the seam ripper is easier. Now I'm going to show you how I take these blue lines out. So I find a portion in the jeans where I feel like it'd be easiest for me and I kind of just use the seam ripper to pluck some threads out. Um, I'm using the seam ripper, I'm going vertically with the um, seam ripper and I'm kind of just plucking the blue strings out. Not really trying to pull any anything out, I'm just kind of trying to break 
uh, the, the blue strings up. So when I go in with my tweezers, which is the supply that I didn't mention earlier, but you need some tweezers. <laughs> I go in with my tweezers and kind of just pull up all those little pieces that I just cut. And that's gonna kind of help get me started for um, pulling out the rest of the strings. So you'll know that you're done with this part when you see like a definitely a definite clear pathway of like just white string. And yeah, so after this, I'm pretty sure I should be good. Yeah, you see the white little pathway right there? Yeah, that's how I knew I was done. And when I distress my jeans, I pull from the center. I don't pull from the ends because it's more difficult, especially if you have like a, like a large portion. It's kind of harder to pull the string out like in one solid motion. So I kind of pull from the center. And yeah, I just use my tweezers to do this. Then you're going to get to a point to where you can't pull the string out anymore, but still pull out as much as you can and then use the seam ripper to cut them in the middle. Then after that, you'll have like little frays on the side. And that's how you get um, like the end portions not to be so blunt. That's really how you get an even distribution of frays as well. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to be quiet this time and kind of let you watch it and see if you understand what I was talking about before. I hope you understood what I did. Um, I tried to make it make sense. <laughs> 
but on this part right here I want to actually distress the pockets and the belt loops so I'm using the seam ripper and just going in on the sides and in the middle and in different parts kind of just if I can get the seam ripper in there I will and I'll rip the fabric up um, another part I didn't show is you can distress the back pockets as well so if that's your type of thing um, you could do that as well and yeah I'm gonna show you a up close version so you can kind of see uh, better see what I'm doing better So then when you're done distressing your jeans, go ahead and just throw them in the washer and dryer. You don't really have to like, sh you know, distress them a lot. They'll kind of do it by themselves. And here I'm showing the finishing results, which I absolutely love. I think both pairs of jeans came out really great. Um, one thing I would note is, uh, even though these are finished, I'm still going to cut off some of the excess strings on the side just to kind of make them a little bit more um, clean, make the look, little, look a little bit more clean. But yeah, I love them overall. And that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like to see a different type of video, leave that in the comment section down below. Until next time, bye.